in the name of Mary, most holy spirit and gift of the ages, let the truth be known, that there is aught but light in the universe, that those who are willing to see the light will be shown the way, that mankind's interpretation of the light is but the weakest measure of the truth, that light can be felt by the sensing body as well as seen by its eyes, that it is the emanation of light that heals and nothing else, that light can be thought, but not all thought is of the light, that words, spoken, written or thought, can emanate light if it is the intention of the speaker, writer, thinker to do so, that therefore words can heal, that healing of the body is of the greatest importance when one understands that healing means to let the light shine forth, that structures which enhance light through their methods of construction can heal. that water is of the light, and therefore water can heal, that God is light, and truth is light, and love is light, that all who come into this world bring with them certain vibrations by which they are known, and by which they know each other, that the sages of old, and all those who come in the future carry the same frequency of light, that enlightenment means opening to this frequency. There are places on the earth in each quadrant where the emanation of light can heal and bring enlightenment. Shart is one such place. Many can be healed at Chartres. The world can be healed at Chartres. The secret of Chartres is in the light. The story it tells is of the light. The healing that takes place there is due to the light. Light in words, in thoughts, in deeds. Light in love, in devotion, in ritual, in prayer, light in colour, in stone, in water, in sound, light waves, Chartres is built of light waves, look deeper, past the cumbersomeness of its mass and you will see light, light through the windows, light from the candles, Light in the sound, light in the darkness, light waves. Chartres is formed by light, enlightened thinking which drew its plans, lightness of being in the space it encloses. Many see the stones and overlook the space, the light the stone surrounds. The veneration of the feminine in prayerful worship, in song, in thought, in intention, is celebration of the light. The story of Chartres is the story of light, but few have translated it correctly. Those who are drawn to Chartres believe it is because of the stories its windows tell, the stories its sculptures depict the beauty of its line and form. Yes, these exist and are worthy of praise, but the real story, the real secret of this and other great cathedrals 
is the secret of light. Notice the light amidst the darkness, the luminosity contained within the structure. And in its walls, another sign of light emanating down through the ages, the ancient scrolls of knowledge. The walls hide knowledge, and knowledge is light. Follow the light. Follow, observe, become. The secret of Shatra is in the light. Be it, become it, and you will be healed.